it. Maybe the key isn't in here. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna save. Since I survived that fight. So I'm missing a key in a cold place, and I'm missing a place to put the, uh... Green key, I think. Okay, let's fight this guy. Cat. Cat. It smells like sweet lemons. Oh yeah, there's the arm. I see the arm now. You flexed your arm. Lemon bread's muscle shakes. What would you like special now? Extraction machine status inactive. Oh, determination extraction machine. Entry number 19. The families keep calling to ask me where everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. You can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that? Snowy. It smells like salty slush. Joke? You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Haha, uh -huh. I remember. But I can't remember how to, uh... You told a bad pun about snow. This question changes more. Haha, uh -huh. thank you. The music, though. It's so cold. You told a bad pun about snow. She's completely calmed down. You won! Oh, there's the key. Okay, last key. like 9 o'clock here. So, I kind of want to start heading to bed. I want to finish this, and I feel like I'm getting really close to the end of this one. This place is really disturbing. They were doing some pretty creepy experiments here. Last one.
remember the Snowbird and MT Teams. Seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on? Yes. Oh no, there's more. <laughs> Guys, it's okay. Guys? Hey, stop. Alphys, I got you guys some food, okay? Yay! Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. Um, anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on, but it seemed like you were about one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that's not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid. To tell the truth, that might I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, uh... I... I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated the power I call determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost the personality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work, knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now... Now, I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing, deep down, that I have friends to fall back on. I know it will be a lot easier to stand up on my own. Thank you. Hmm? Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Power's been turned on. Okay. Time to head back. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet, because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower. It grew before all the others. A flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Entry number eighteen. The flower's gone. Ring. It's a voice you have never heard before. Cute, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Phew. See you soon. Um. Oh. Back to the elevator, near the Jenner room, warped with the exit's advanced path. Ah, okay. So I'm now locked into the pacifist ending. There's no save points anywhere, so I'm kinda nervous. Yeah, the uh, Chia, the bot will automatically send out some messages periodically, but yeah, it's not anything you said or did. Throne room. What? Okay, time to go see Asgore, I guess. 
Do I have to fight him again? Oh, okay, there's a save. Okay, yeah, score. This is the barrier. So it keeps us all trapped underground. If by chance you have any unfinished, please do what you must. Okay, I see. This is it then. Ready? Yeah, I kind of figured that from the uh, thing about the flower and filling it with the germination. They sprinkled the sun's dust all over those flowers, didn't they? So... It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. What? Toriel? Toriel! What a miserable creature torturing such a poor innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought I would let you make your journey alone. But I cannot stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous. And ultimately, it would burden you with horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized, I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I have been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, Dreamer. You pathetic woman. If you really wanted to free your kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Take six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair, because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature. But, do you think we can at least be friends again? <sighs> no, Asgore. Cool! Yeah, Asgore, human. Nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends, or else I'll... I'll... Mm. Hello, I'm Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah? Nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Poor Asgore. Hey! He's so sad. Nobody hurt each other. Uh, uh. Oh, are you another friend? I'm Toriel. Hello. Uh, uh, hi. Uh, there's two of them. Hey, nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, uh, then I'll be forced. Oh, I'm dying for help. Hello. Oh, hello, Your Majesty. Psst. Hey, human. Did Asgore shave? <laughs> and clone himself. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Bad voice. Hello. I think <gasps> so. They're the ones doing knock knock jokes with each other. I think we may know each other. Oh, hey, I recognize your voice, too. I'm Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait, then... This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie. I can't believe Asper's clone knows who I am. This is the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with sh shingles. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Come on, Asgore, it's gonna be okay. I'm so sad. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore. And I is totally right about that fish thing. Sometimes you just got to, uh, to stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, to just get to know a really cute fish? Uh, it's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my! Will you two just smidge already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up. Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? Uh, uh Alphys? 
right. Let's do it. Mm. Well, uh, I guess if you want to, then don't hold anything back. <laughs> Wait! Not in front of the human. Uh, right. So sorry, I got a little carried away there. <laughs> My child, it seems you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think, I think you will be happy here. Hey, hey that reminds me, Pyrus. <laughs> you call everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know how to call everybody? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. <laughs> a tiny flower? Oh. Thing. No. Uh, Toriel. What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. That's right, human. You can win. Just what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human, if you got past me, you can do anything, so don't worry. We're here with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this brute has got nothing on you. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But somehow, I know you can do it. Human, for the future of the humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. We're with you, come on. And you can do it, Ribbit. No. Unbelievable. This can't be really happening. You. You. I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. 